Greetings, everybody. Uh, today is Tuesday, and I hope this finds you well. Uh, we're continuing our daily Psalms for Hope, and we're in the praise section of the book of Psalms, which is the back end of 146 through 150, right around that area. Um, all these Psalms begin with praise the Lord. And so today we're going to be getting into uh, Psalm 148. So if you want to get that out and follow along, that would be great. So here we go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all, you, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded, and they were created. And he established them forever and ever. He gave a decree, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Beasts and all livestock, creeping things and flying birds kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and maidens together, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above heaven and or above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his saints, for the people of Israel who are near to him. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> it's just sometimes good to be, get into that part of our fellowship with God, to just simply praise the Lord, uh, to thank Him for all the things that He has done, uh, to, to, to just lift His name up as the Creator and the Doer of all things, including your life including all the things that you're going through, uh, he is a part of. You know, I love the part where it says in, at the very end, uh, in verse 14, it says, He has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his saints, for the people of Israel who are near to him. Praise the Lord. The, the horn is a, is a symbol of power. <clears throat> Israel looked at uh, animals with horns as, uh, as powerful. And uh, often the, in Scripture, raising up a horn is raising up that power. Well, in this case, uh, as a lot of the Psalms uh, do, is that they point us to uh, the ultimate power. And that is Christ. Uh, Christ came into the world uh, to deliver us from, our, from death and from our sin and from, uh, from all the complications uh, that we experience in life. He came to be a part of all of that and deliver us and give us strength to get through all that. And this points us, he has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his saints. Lord Jesus is that praise for us. And we are called his saints, as we learned this past weekend, that uh, we are called his saints because we are forgiven, uh, because he did go to the cross and bear our sins for him, for us. And, and so uh, this, this idea that, that God raised up this horn, God raised up this power and strength, uh, is a very uh, worthy, uh, it's worthy of our praise, that action. And so um, today, uh, may your praise be for not only all that God has created, and given, but that uh, the praise may be for the horn of salvation that he sent to us in Christ Jesus, to just thank Jesus for uh, coming into your life, uh, coming into your story, 
and being a part of your life and allowing you to know that forgiveness and know it's, it's, it's yours always uh, because you are a part of him in faith in him. And so um, may, this, may this psalm resonate with you today uh, that, that, that we do have uh, lots to be thankful for. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get to, the, to that place, but we do. We have lots to be thankful for. And uh, just give him a shout out today of praise and thanksgiving that he is worthy of because he has done all things and will continue to do all things. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Until the next time, be blessed and be a blessing.